Hello, hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? You good? You good? Yeah. All right. Uh, welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, today we are. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I I have a little bit of gunk in my throat, so I apologize if I keep on clearing it. It's it's not because I'm trying to get your guys' attention. It's because. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so today we're going to be setting up a rig um, and hopefully get started on animating something. Um, I So I, I was thinking the other day, and I know, uh, quite a surprise. Um, and uh, or I, it was yesterday, anyway. Um, I realized that, uh, all the stuff that I've been trying to do is really just to avoid the hard stuff, when in reality I could just do it the hard way, uh, and not worry about trying to make certain shortcuts work. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. Um, I'm probably actually going to uh, change up a couple of these bones, but uh, otherwise we are just going to set up a rig, and then hopefully once it's done, I'll create a short animation for it, probably a run cycle of some kind, and then we're going to try to import it into Unity. Um, and uh, if that does in fact work as intended, then I can go ahead and animate the rest of my things and we can go from there um so yeah let's go ahead and get on to it um so as you can see uh i do have my whoop, i hit the shift button thank you that was interesting um so as you can see i have my rig set up here um there's a couple of bones that i'll want to adjust uh just because the weight painting for some of it's a little weird um but otherwise, uh, it's it's mostly good, uh, good to go. The thing that I'm working on at this very moment, uh, and I kind of did a little bit before stream, um, is uh, I have uh, the series of bones that I want to connect together to create uh, hand and fingers. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see, I have not done that on this side yet, which is okay. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to just select all these bones and then just duplicate them, uh, mirror them, and then we'll be good to go. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, okay, I need to actually move a lot of these bones out of the way. That one, that one, that one, that one these two as well and we're just gonna whoop, right over there okay now we're going to move work with this one and the first thing that we're going to do actually is select this bone and then select its parent with shift uh, and then we're going to do alt P uh, wait is it already apparent or is it shift P? No. Hold on. No, it doesn't say it's connected. Alt P. Clear parent, remove the child parent relationship between the selected bones and their parents, or disconnect the bone. Wait, no. Maybe the other way? Try clearing the parent. Can I do it from this way now? No, wait a second. Hold on. I just learned this. Hold on. Oh, is it Control P that I have to hit? Maybe. 
parent and or connect bones, you can in JDV select the bone future parent and press Control P or armature parent make parent. Um, oh, here we go. Whoa, that's the wrong way. There we go. Okay, now let's try to do this guy and this guy. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. <laughs> it, it always it always takes a second to actually know what you're doing. Okay. I'm going to move him to this corner. And we're going to move on to... Well, hold on. I'm going to move these guys to the side here. Because these guys are meant for the thumb. Which will be interesting. Okay. Let's take our next one. And just do the same thing here. Select that, select that, control P. Oh, try that again. Control P. Connect. everybody's uh, day or morning been so far. I uh, <laughs> woke up a little later than I would have liked. Uh, I wanted to uh, take a shower and stuff, but uh, because of how late I had woken up, I wasn't able to. Um, which is unfortunate because I normally do try to take a shower before I either start streaming or just go about my day in general. Um, I probably should have done that angle first. But I'll be okay. Uh, this honestly isn't the first time that this has happened. Um, and whenever I do something like this, uh, A lot of times I will, um, just after the stream, I'll take my shower real quick, because I don't take long showers. I used to. I used to take like 30 minute showers. I miss those days. Um, but nowadays, uh, like, I only take like 10 minute showers. Um, it's like, I just gotta, I, I get in, I get wet, uh, I soap myself up and shampoo and all that, and then I get out. <laughs> there is one um, routine, I should say, that I think is a little weird, but I mean, I, I do it anyway. Um, wait, what happened? Oh, hold up. Wait. Happen. That's not supposed to happen. Okay. Okay, I think I just had it at a weird angle. Um, what was I saying? Eh, something about showering or whatever. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It's been an okay day so far, otherwise. Also, I just realized that I kind of need another finger, a bone. So I'm just going to I'm gonna take this one, just duplicate it real quick. 
That's probably what I should have done, just taken the one and start duplicating. This is a pretty smooth process right now, which is nice. It's not often that I can actually do something on here and be able to talk uh, relatively frequently. A lot of times I have to like focus on what I'm doing uh, because I'm trying to remember all the different shortcuts and whatever at the same time. Um, and, and at the same time trying to still be entertaining, uh, uh, to some degree. So it's, it's, it's nice. Wait, did I connect that? I'm pretty sure that, yeah, I did. Okay. And of course, as always, uh, if you have, if you enjoyed today's stream, um, please tell your friends and such about this channel and what I am doing. Uh, I have some interesting stuff planned ahead. Um, whoa. Okay, that's interesting. Let's bring both of you down. Um, for one. I'm planning to stream uh, playing games more often. Um, stuff like Monster Train, stuff like that. Um, I kind of want to stick to one or two games, really, especially when I stream. Um, but trying to find the right game to stream is really difficult because you want to get you want to get the right uh, balance between niche and popular. Because uh, if you play something that's too niche, then nobody's going to be interested in it. Uh, but if you play something that's too popular, then nobody's going to notice you. Um, so you have to find kind of a good middle ground for that. And that can be really difficult. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, Monster Train might be a good idea. I do enjoy playing that game, genuinely. Okay, good, I have one more. Um, but, you know, I mean, we'll see. Also, uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what games I should play, please feel free to uh, recommend any game. Um, I mean, I'll play, I mean, I won't play anything, but I enjoy quite a lot of stuff. our hand. Let's go. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it and just put it here for now and I want to disconnect uh, which I think is Alt P. Parent. 
fence clear. Uh, disconnect phone. That didn't do it. Parent clear. No, parent clear. Clear parent. No, that didn't do it either. just separate bones. Does that work? No. Maybe. What? Uh, split. Okay, I realized that I did something here. Uh, that's fine, actually. Hmm. All right, uh, looks like uh, Google will be our friend here. Um, okay, Blender, how to remove relationship select the child in object mode and press alt p to bring up the clear parent menu well i tried doing that maybe i have to do it for each of these clear parents clear parents clear parents Clear parent. Clear parent. Hey, okay, that did actually work. Good. Also, I just realized that these two are not connected, actually. There we go. Wait, does that mean that, yeah, these two aren't connected as well? There we go. Okay, we're gonna take this. We are going to drag it over here. Um, real quick, we're going to stop mirroring because this thing's here. Also going to delete this bone uh, because we already have that bone in here. Okay, we're going to select all these again. And I'm going to... Uh, we need to flip this, so... That's not right. Um, hmm. Oh, mirror. Uh, let's see. It would be over the Y axis. So Y local? No. Uh, mirror X local. Okay, yeah, there we go. Just going to line these up. Zoom in. And then just start parenting these. Just like so. And there we go. have it folks. Now the question is, yeah okay I didn't think that would work. So we need to select all these, all these, and then we need to 
Oh, what is it? Uh, it's not Alt P, is it? No. Oh, right. I forget. Uh, I need to go into object mode, actually. I need to select the mesh. Or, I wait. I select the mesh first, then the bones. And then... Whoa. No, whatever I just did, don't do that. The other way. Maybe now I hit Alt P. Uh, clear parent. Automatic weights. Hey, would you look at that? I do need to put these in like a group of some kind. So let's look that up. Blender how to group bones. Uh, bone groups can be used for selection or to assign color to the theme to set as bones. bringing up this thing called relations so that might be useful um, I don't even know if this is the thing you can do, to be honest. Um, but what I, would, what I want to do is I want to have all of these finger bones move together. Um, Cause otherwise I would create like one bone here to control all of this part of the hand. Um, but then all of these finger bones would then be connected to it. But that doesn't make a lot of sense, and that's basically this here. We don't really want that. I'm curious how, um, save changes. This guy doesn't have bones. These guys are just mess meshes. Um, this guy doesn't have a bone. Huh. However, 
this guy does have Rigify going. I really have to wonder if I can do that. You know? Uh, be able to... No, hold on. Uh, it's this one. If I, I'm really curious if I can use Rigify. I would really like to, but I genuinely don't know. Because whenever I do try to do it, you know, generate rig, get it. Uh, wait, okay, this is something I can do. Um, bone upper arm dot L input to rig type must be a chain of three bones in correct armature for type one. Wait. chain of three bones? This guy. Oh. Oh, that's how they do it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I rigged this up wrong. And I now know why. Um, so basically, we, we need to get rid of So clear these guys. Now we should be able to delete these. Okay, but why the wireframe though? What the heck is this? Uh, I messed something up here.
back into this. Move that back there. At first, I really thought that there was some kind of uh, I, I don't even I don't even know some kind of weird thing. I'm just gonna duplicate this bone, clear the parent. that put that there and now what I can do is I can connect these but keep offset and there we go uh, now when everything comes down to it, since if I go back into okay this isn't going to be connected okay none of that is um, that's fine I'm assuming though that it is not the same for over here yeah I didn't even have mirror mode on so that's all right first. And now I can delete all this. And now I'm going to duplicate. Duplicate this. Clear its parent. Make its new parent this. Connected. Move that up there. And then I can just do this. Keep offset. Keep offset. Keep offset. I feel like I'm cheering myself on. Yeah, you can do it. Keep offset. Don't ever stop. Live out your dreams. Um, okay. Oh, I see what the problem was. Or maybe a problem. <laughs> These guys were not connected. They should be. At least I think so. I could be totally wrong about that. Also, yeah, while I'm here, I'm going to readjust some of these. For instance, that's going to be like that, that, like that. I'm going to move this down to here. Okay, these need to be at the same place, so let's see. I believe it was Shift A? No. Shift S. There it is. Uh, cursor to selected, and then selection to cursor, and finally cursor to world origin, just to reset. Okay. Now I'll go back into object mode, select these two. Well, first off, let's clear the parent. Yeah, 
you are just out in the middle of nowhere. Let's see, okay, this guy still works. This guy still works, well, kind of. Okay, I think what I need to do is clear the parent again and try again. Clear parent and parent with automatic weights. Back into pose mode. There we go, that's much better. Good, 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 good. Okay, now that we have that, let's see if we can do Rigify. to do rigify before but now I can't well now I'm confused as usual setup then I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to do it before is on. It is indeed on. But it is not here. Python code that will generate the selected meta rig and code sample to Python. Um, code meta rig to Python, I guess. Well, that did nothing. Yeah. Sorry, my nose got really itchy all of a sudden. Oh, jeez. That was weird. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna look up Rigify again, because there's something that I'm missing. thing isn't a meta rig. I 
am gonna try something which you know always results in something good right um, so we have this using this because right okay. um, I'm not using this because the bones that it gives or the bones that it has rather um, don't work with unity so don't I have that rigified unity thing now I do but uh, it's, not, it's not showing up I need OG Man Mesh. Okay. So I'm just gonna do something very simple here. Armature, basic human. Edit mode, scale down. It doesn't need to be exact, it just needs to be close. doing this fairly quickly because I'm probably not going to use this as a permanent solution. I just wanted to try something else. And I mean, let's be honest, I've done this so many times now. Do I really need to do it a, a, again? See, there's the rig. Okay, now that we have the rig, I know that it doesn't work. Right? But, I'm wondering can I parent it? Um, automatic weights. That's moving. Hold up. Parent. 
Regify how to parent uh, rig to mesh. And my parent and parent my meshes to the bones so that they follow once I use IK composing. Problem is that I don't know which object I should parent my meshes to. There are a lot of widget objects in the scene after generating the rig. Which object do I use for the forearm to parent my mesh to? Uh, go to the armature panel and scroll all the way down. Click generate. You probably have already done this, but I thought I would mention it. Then click the three last layers. Oh, shift click, I assume. Okay. Select all of the bones, then click, then click the mesh and parent it with automatic weights. I'm not sure but I think uh, one of the layers is for IK and one is for FK, and I don't know what the third one is. However, I drink by myself and selecting all three simply works. There's no way that this can just work, right? That's a lot of things I don't need. Um, stuff like that that happens so like some of this works see but like this stuff which is the stuff I use mainly doesn't work at all
Okay. Uh, hmm. I wonder if, um, let's go into object mode. I need a pair of these to the bones as well. You know, I mean, it's, it's worth a shot. So that's what was happening. Interesting. So these are like two separate things. That's okay. Um, okay. That's interesting. So then, which is which is my question. I think this is what I would want. Yeah. Uh, the one thing is I can't put my fingers into a fist, um, but that's probably fine. That's good, but uh, to go back to the current problem, uh, this rig is somehow not being able to go into Rigify, and I don't know why. Um,
in this video. I'm gonna try to see what's wrong with this, why I can't turn it into a rigify. Uh, blender, rigify, um, That's true. I'm going to check something real quick. Um, somewhere in here, there should be something. Preferences, save and load. Okay, yeah, we're auto running uh, Python scripts. Okay, so that's not a huge problem. Um, armatures have their own layering system, similar to the layers available in the 3D view. Only bones on the active layers will be visible. Rigify uses these layers to group various related bones together. Example, the finger bones are all in one later layer. Uh, yeah. Rigify also creates a panel that shows the property sidebar in the 3D view that has buttons to enable the various bone layers using more useful names. These buttons are a convenience to relate the bone layers available in the armature properties. That's not really what I need. generate button. Generate button is only available in object, object mode. Well, I am in object mode, but it's not showing up. is definitely available. our good old button. Let's see what happens when we do that. But first I'm going to delete that. Um, generate. Oh, that's anticlimactic. Uh, 
Um, is there nothing else? Wow, no, there is nothing. It's not even connected. Holy cow. Okay, so we don't want to generate then. something that I'm doing wrong. I, I feel like I say that every time, but you know what I mean. It's true though. Adjust the Rigify armature to the model. Finish, move the armature to the side of the object mode. Get ready to generate the rig, but no generate button appears. about something I'm wondering it well you know that <sighs> that wouldn't make sense though yeah. okay I'm gonna here I'll try something else I'm gonna bring this guy in again and then I'm gonna go into edit mode and is there. Let's go ahead and duplicate this bone. Clear its parent. And reconnect it here. 
Okay, generate rig is still there. So I can do that. If I add a multiple to it, does it still work then? You know, just be as simple as duplicating, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I can still generate the rig perfectly fine. It's just, you know. But the rig type must be a chain of three bones. Right, 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 right. That's whatever. Um, still get a good rig. music. <laughs> I I legit forgot I was streaming for a second there. Um wow. Okay, hi. Hello everybody. We're still here. Um Okay. I think I generally know what I need to do. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> um Well, great. Uh, it's, it's, fine, it's fine. Okay, what I need to do, I don't know what I did to make it not work before. However, uh, we can make it work. figured out how Rigify actually works.
sure. setting this up uh let's see uh what's what's in the news today for gaming stuff um not a whole lot uh i mean of course you guys have heard about uh everything to do with uh gamestop and robin hood and all that and that that was that was a whole bunch of shenanigans, not in a good way. Um, yeah, long long story short, the way that I heard it, um, keep off sets. The way that I heard it was basically there are these guys that operate these things called hedge funds. Um, and, uh, nobody likes hedge, fund hedge funds. Your boy does not approve of hedge funds. Um, and, uh, basically what they do is they invest in the stock market in such a way so that... So that the company that they're associated with, or like the the um, or the company that they invest in, loses money in the in the process, and they get a lot of money. Um, the way that it was explained to me, and I think this is a good way of doing it, is uh oh, I did not realize that you were here. Um, let's delete you. Oh, well, actually, don't delete you. I need you. The way that I heard it told me is, uh, say, say that you have $10, okay? And you want to make some money with this, with this $10. Um, one thing that you can do is, uh, let's say you invest in company A. Let's call it uh, uh, the company of strawberries, you know? And for whatever reason, uh, this company is currently worth $10. Their stocks are worth $10 exact. So, um, so what you do, and actually, uh, yeah, so what you do is uh, nor you, you normally, you know, you what, what you would do is that you would buy the stock for $10, right? And then you would hope that that's not what's supposed to happen. You would hope that over time, the worth of strawberries uh, would grow over time. Uh, and because of that, the stock value would also grow. And what you originally spent $10 on now becomes $15 and $20 and so on. Um, and with this, you're basically making free money because you know you made the right choice by investing a bit of your money into this company. Um, on the reverse side of that, uh, you know if the if you invest in something and then the worth or value of it goes down. To like say seven or five dollars, uh, then if you try to get your stock back, or if you try to sell it, then uh, then it'll be worth less. And yes, I am literally explaining how the stock market works. Um, 
However, what these guys at the head fu hedge funds do is uh, they they basically cheat the system, and they do things in the wrong order in order to make money off of people losing money, uh, which is kind of an interesting concept. Cause, like that—that that is basically what it is. Instead of um, you know a company or whatever making or not a company a person making money off of the stock market by having uh oh no not connected to, oh gee, yeah In, instead of somebody making money by the company's worth growing people make money off of the company's value decreasing um and how they do that is that they don't buy the stock first they sell the stock first and then later they buy it and you might be thinking you can't do that that's that's illegal well not technically it's not technically technically illegal but that's kind of the problem so what, what these people do then uh, let, let's say, you know, back to our scenario, you invest in strawberries, or you would like to make money off of strawberries. Um, what you do, if you are a hedge fund, is that of instead of buying the stock first, you sell it. Uh, sell it then okay that's fine that just means that you're you know however much in the hole and normally you'd be correct and you are for a time but you know you eventually have to buy that stock again right um, however what if when you bought the stock later that the stock was only worth say seven dollars or five dollars uh, but when you sold it originally intending to buy it back eventually you had sold it for 10 that means that in the end you actually made a profit of like five dollars just by selling the stock and buying it back now what what you can do or what what can also happen of course is on the flip side of that oh huh I didn't think that that would mirror, but apparently it does. Then I don't need these. Oh gosh, I forgot that they also need to be aligned this way. Luckily, that is a simple task. you know it's obvious that you can lose money from this um, from running a hedge fund uh, by the stock increasing rather than the stock decreasing like normal people um, but yeah so these people basically get money from companies failing and so a couple of redditors a while back uh, like, uh, like a few weeks ago or something. Actually, I think this was only like last week. Anyway, they caught wind of a hedge fund targeting GameStop, which, of course, as you may or may not know, is like the primary source of all things gaming for all of us gamers. Um, it is like the store to go to. And uh, a bunch of Redditors caught wind that the hedge funds were targeting GameStop. And they were like, you know what? This is scummy. This is stupid. We're going to stop this from happening. And so what they did is that in order to drive up the price 
so that the hedge funds would lose money is that they just bought a bunch of stocks. Everybody just bought a bunch of GameStop stocks all at once. And what that did is it, it did exactly what they thought it would. It drove up the price like crazy. Um, to the point where these hedge funds were losing, you know, millions of dollars over it. Um, and, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, then we beat them. And it's like, well, kind of. But then uh, Robin Hood, which if you didn't know, Robin Hood is a free app that you can get. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh... It's a free app that you can get, and you can basically kind of try yourself out using in the stock market. Um, that's what I've been doing for a while, actually, for a few years. Uh, I have been, I have like a few stocks in Nintendo. I think I have a stock in Facebook right now. And I've made like over $100 uh, because of Nintendo recently, you know, booming for, from the Switch. That's right. I, I invested back when, uh, when they were in the Wii U era. So I, I made a I made a good bit of money from that, or I have made a good bit of money. Um, but what Robinhood did is very scummy. They decided that because of volatility or whatever have you, um, they prevented people from buying GameStop stocks, which, as you can imagine, did not go over well with the internet. Um, Nobody liked that. Okay. Uh, so, good news. This might work. Fingers crossed. Hey, let's go. Okay. Everything seems to be in order. And, uh... Let's go ahead and hit prepare rig for Unity. Okay, good. Unity, or it is ready for Unity. Let's go into pose mode. And then select something. Um, So we want the foot to be IK oriented, but we want the hands to be FK oriented. And then, let's see, we're going to do this, yeah, get rid of all the tweaking. Okay, and okay, right, I did not do that yet. Parent with automatic weights. Back into pose mode. Oh, come on. just that I selected these last three and then parent with automatic weights
that's still not it. Okay, let's try that. Still nothing. Wait, hold on. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Um. Oh, there is one thing I forgot. Uh. Need to parent that. Because these fingers are not getting close. That's not quite what we want. Access, like the weight painting area, you know. Oh, hello. Thank you. 
Okay. Honestly, I have no idea. Um, Yeah, see, this is what I want. What I want is for like this thing here to rotate the bones and which rotates. Okay, go back, 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 back. Okay, that's still connected. Clear all parents quick. Okay, so what I want is for the rig to affect the bones to affect the mesh. Therefore, wait, select the future parent first. Parenting work again. Um, select the child objects first, then the parent object last. Okay, so if we so we want to select the mesh, then the bones. Yeah, automatic weights. Just to check that, I'm gonna switch over to pose mode. Yep, that rotates fine. Okay, and now we're going to select the bones, then the rig, and then parent. Uh, I guess with automatic weights. Switch to pose mode. to select the mesh then the armature wait hold on object mode yeah I figured it would do that again see that's fine for the most part except that it's not getting all of the fingers <laughs> So like, I'm wondering how, um, rigify how to add fingers. Select the main rig. Okay. Uh, go to. Okay, go back to edit mode. Go to object data. Wait. Object data. Scroll to rigify buttons.
Well, this isn't really working as I thought it would. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is something different. Um. Okay. 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 Uh. Right, but there's nothing in object data. How do you rigify, rigify? Um, just See, the problem is that I don't know. Mm. What if I just, okay, I'm gonna go back. What if I just took this bone? Exactly. Um, okay. I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do. If I could just parent correctly, then it would be fine, but I'm not able to. Hmm. 
curious what the different parent options are. Oh, wait, wait, wait. When does that happen? Select the child object first, then the parent. should work, but it doesn't. So, selecting this now. I don't know if this will actually do anything, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Um, yeah, didn't do nothing. Well, okay. select this anymore. Am I selecting the neck now? What am I selecting? Where am I where am I painting? Oh, everywhere apparently. like this.
able to subtract. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Kind of. Okay. Let's... okay. Yeah, I don't know what that would do, but I'm not going to mess with it, so. can just continue by doing this being like oh I'm just gonna ba -ba boom ba boom oh yeah I could just move these around and such hey guys let's uh Do some inverse kinematic stuff, you know? Uh, I can. Something that I watched earlier actually that could help with this. Hmm. 
let's go back. Add a target bone and a pulled target bone to your arm. The target will be the arm control. The pulled target will determine the arm orientation. Pair out these two bones to the root bone of your armature. If you don't have a root bone yet, at least deparent these two bones. Disable their deform option. Okay, um, wow. No, I don't need a box man. I I give up <laughs> not in the sense of like like I don't want to do this anymore but in the sense of I'm going to give up on Rigify because it is just way too complicated for me um which is unfortunate, but I'm okay with that. Because in, in, okay, in the end, I can still animate. Uh, like, it's not gonna be too terribly difficult for me to animate stuff in here. Some stuff will be a little weird, but that's just because of weight painting and all that, which, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, otherwise, like, the, the rigs themselves, the, the rig itself is perfectly fine. I finally have the upper neck and all that good stuff. I could delve more deeper into like bone constraints and stuff, which I might do. But as of now, I'm sticking with Riga, or I'm sticking with just the bones. And I'm not gonna be using Rigify. I know it's something that I could use, but it's just so out of my wheelhouse but it's kind of infuriating I will miss being able to just drag a foot into the right place I I will genuinely miss that um, and I mean I could do some stuff like this isn't too bad like I could drag my foot over, over here up here back here and then I would just rotate the foot into place 
So actually that's pretty decent. Yeah, like, yeah, like this is the only problem. Like it's bending the wrong way, you know? bend the right way first, then I can put it into place. And voila, ladies and gentle germs. We have ourselves Good old fashioned posing machine. Look at that beauty. Ah, he's so beautiful. His, he's so beautiful, his bones are all sticking out of stuff. mode on for this because holy cow I'm not dealing with that but yeah um, I think we'll stick with this which is kind of unfortunate but it's also whatever um, I wonder do we even oh <laughs> the poor guy he wants to work, he really does. Oh. Still though, I'm, no. Cause there's a lot of Rigify stuff. So like, I wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. Dang, that really sucks though. Happened. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I I have turned myself into a monster. Going back, back, back. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure what happened there. I went to camera 01 action and just bop. Okay, luckily I think I can. I'm gonna have to get rid of these, which is super unfortunate. actions. I need to get rid of all these actions. Actually, well, what I could do, um, since I'm going to be keeping these actions anyway, I could just keep them. And then, for instance, on the, uh, on the run cycle, I just select all these and delete them. Pop, just like that. the whole character from hand to spine yo what's up dude it's your boy it, it, it's your boy Two Frame coming in, <laughs> coming in hot with them spicy memes. Oh, geez, I didn't realize that you could do it in real time. That's actually kind of neat. 
la la la. <laughs> oh man. I'm having way too much fun with this. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow and be like, oh yeah! <laughs> okay. Um so what did we learn? Um unless you want to take hours and hours at a time learning by watching YouTube videos and reading books and stuff. Do not do the complicated thing. Do not try to take the shortcuts. Do what you know, stick with it, and just go. Something like that anyway. Um, yeah, so here's the plan, okay? Here's the plan. Starting tomorrow, we are going to go back to animating. Woo! Animating. Um, but instead of using the Rigify setup that we had before, we are going to use this setup. Wait. 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 Uh, why do I always have the greatest ideas right at the end of my streams? Okay. So we have this guy, correct? And he rotates and he moves like we want him to, right? But our problem was that he had a bad um, bone structure, right? Like he was missing a bone. What if we just gave him that bone? Like, we don't have any actions in here, which is really unfortunate. But like, just go into edit mode. And then in here somewhere, we just like, like say, say this phone here, okay? We just duplicate it, move it up, get rid of the parent, clear, clear parent. to that move that down to there because why not and then just yeah have an upper chest bone because remember the problem was we had a we had a chest bone we needed an upper chest bone as well so then yeah that's that's it can we can we import the stuff You have a lot of these. I'm just gonna bring in all of them except for these two. <gasps> no way! No way! Oh my gosh! Please! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, wait, it's all here. It's all here. We could just bring it in. Dude. Okay, okay, so something's wrong here.
Okay, for whatever reason, a run cycle isn't here. But like, everything else is. And that makes me extremely happy. Like, I think this will work. Our jog cycle is here, and it's looking lovely as always. Okay, so, like, legit, the only thing that we are missing is our run cycle. Dude. Dude. This is amazing. I don't know what happened to our run cycle. Um, oh, you know what? I, I do know what happened, actually. I actually did delete it. Um, okay, that's fine. We can make a new one. Wow. Um, <sighs> Okay. Okay. Um. Wow. Uh, I'm a little ashamed to say that it took me two days, two streams, in order to figure this out. And I don't even know if it'll work. That's the other thing. We we do still need to bring it into Unity. We need to still bring it into Unity, and hook everything up and see if it still works then. But if it still works then, then we're in business and we can continue using this Rigify. Because the problem before was just that we needed one more bone. And that was it. And it was the upper chest that we needed. So we could just add an upper chest. Let's just add an upper chest. And then it works. It just works. And hopefully nothing breaks. <laughs> oh, that's always the fear, ain't it? Just please don't break. Please don't break again. Anyway. Um, yeah. Gosh, I, I'm still reeling, reeling from the fact that I literally had that idea at the last second and I had to try it, even though I'm eating into my time now. Um, wow. Uh, jeez. I'm kind of upset at myself, actually. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's okay. It's just... Man, why couldn't I have figured this out in the first place? Like, I bring it into Unity, it says it doesn't have a bone. Why don't we just give it another one? But then I needed to go on all these different tangents and whatnot, trying to do it on my own, and nah, I didn't need to do that. Boy. It's okay, though. The point is, is that we learned, and we learned from our mistakes. And if we ever tried to do this again, now we know. Now we know what we can do. Um, yeah. With that being said, this is the end of the stream. I am ending it here. Thank you all for watching. Um, please, of course, as always, tell your friends, tell your family that I exist. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching today. Um, please, uh, you know, follow, ring that bell. Uh, you see these down here? Yeah. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube and all that. Do all the socials, you know, do all that. Um, and, uh, yeah, 
uh look forward to more game streams and uh, and you know blender streams and stuff like that as always um and uh yeah as always i will leave uh music on for a little bit for you guys but uh with that being said uh i am going to head out thank you all for watching bye